What's up everyone, I'm Ed and welcome back to Creative Journey. Today, we're talking about this little guy. This is the kind of 50mm one pong AR. So this has been my go-to lens since I got it. I use it for video, I'm not using it right now obviously, but when I'm doing my b-roll I usually use this one. It's like super sharp, it's 1.8 so you can get this amazing depth of field with it. You know that blurry background, if you know that already so how to get it. I'm gonna link here video so you can watch it. But yeah, it's been perfect. If you're just starting out in, in photography or even with video, uh, I think this will be perfect. If you really like to take portraits, uh, actually, all those portraits were taken with this one. Honestly, I love them. I mean, I love their results you can have with it. Just the fact that it's 1.8. The main reason I really like and I recommend it right now for any new photographer out there is. That it costs 130 bucks. Yeah, you think that you need like a thousand or two thousand dollars to buy like a really good lens? Usually, yeah, it's true. Uh, professional lenses are super expensive, but if you're kind of on a budget or you don't, just don't want to spend that much in glass right now, but you really want something that you know is gonna work for you, go for this one. This is an EF mount. But actually there's an RF mount that just came out, that one is I think 200 bucks. Basically the same, what changes the mount. In the new one I think it's all metal, this one has some, you can hear there it's plastic, but it's actually very durable. I don't like to admit this, I'm not proud of it, but I already dropped it twice I think. And nothing happened, thank god. <laughs> I've been using this lens for 4 months already. If you're just starting out in photography, I 100% recommend this lens. Uh, you can have an amazing result with it. Honestly, obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, you're still gonna have to learn to so that you can use this one. But I'm telling you, it's, it's just such a good lens. Um, like I said, I've used it for portraits, I've used it for street photography a lot actually. And I've used it for close-ups too. And the results are just good. I mean, you can't deny if you're just starting out photography or just looking for a medium-range lens that is actually really cheap. Let's go for this one. You know that I regret it. And if you like it, you want to pick it up, and I'll just leave a link right down there so you can check it out. And yeah, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe, don't forget about that. Go check out this super lens, it's just amazing. Hi. Thank you.